Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Austin and Shane of The Lone Few. Hello. Today, we're in Modern Warfare going over a few small tactics that the game doesn't flat out tell you. Now, these are genuine in-game secrets that will help you be a better player. But before we hop into it, this video is sponsored by, well, us. We just recently launched a new channel with old-school RVB-style machinima named Replay Mode. We'll talk about it more at the end of the video, but if you'd like to support us, the link will be in the description. One of the ways Call of Duty has evolved over the years has been toward a multiple hit melee system. And while you can use certain attachments or equip a combat knife to get a one hit melee kill, there's also a third way of getting them, without needing to change what you're physically holding. If you equip throwing knives on your class and currently have them in your inventory, your character will use one for your melee, thus giving you an old school knife swipe instead of a rifle butt. Now, if you use up all your knives, you will be reverted back to the normal animation, but once you pick one up again, or if you combine it with the perk restock, you will gain that one hit melee back again once there's a knife officially in your inventory. Most might go with a launcher to take down enemy air support, but a better option might be the crossbow. With explosive bolts unlocked, it only takes one shot to take out UAVs and counter UAVs, it's noticeably quicker than waiting for a launcher to lock on, and it has an added bonus of being a real weapon that you can use to fight back if someone tries to shoot you while taking down their killstreaks. When the game first came out, many wondered if, in addition to making you quieter, Dead Silence also would increase your movement speed, or if it was just an illusion caused by the field of view change. Thankfully, fellow and much bigger YouTuber Drifter ran some tests and concluded that it actually does make you about 5% faster. It's not much, but it's worth noting. In core game modes, Thrown tactical and lethal equipment will phase right through your teammates, which means you don't have to worry about a grenade bouncing back and blowing up right in your face. EOD actually resets the timer on picked up grenades, giving you more time to carefully return it to sender instead of flinging it in a panic. It even resets on every pickup, meaning that technically you could juggle a grenade indefinitely until you found a suitable target. In Ground War, if you don't want to wait for your parachute to slowly take you to the ground safely, you can aim for a dumpster and piles of trash to break your fall, and you'll survive from any ungodly distance. The stim shot can be used in hardcore game modes as one of the only ways to replenish your health, and if coupled with restock, which replenishes every time that you use one, you can basically play hardcore like Black Ops 4, which might not necessarily be the best selling point, but it's useful nonetheless. In addition, the stim shot will also reset the timeout on your tactical sprint, so if you're looking to get a jump on a certain objective at the start of the game, stim shots might be your best bet at beating the enemy team there. Field upgrades have fast, medium, and slow charge times, but there's actually different variations between each tier, ranging from the very fast trophy system at about 1 minute and 20 seconds, all the way up to stopping power at 3 minutes and 40 seconds. A good rule of thumb is that each kill will lower those times by about 10 seconds each. If you change field upgrades mid-match, the game will automatically give you the same progress on the new one. Meaning, if you change from Dead Silence to the slower Recon Drone, you will start your bar at about 3 quarters of the way full. While if you go the other way and start with a 3 quarter full Recon Drone, and switch to Dead Silence, you'll earn it as soon as you respawn. When using Pro, you get the recharge timer of the slowest one you choose. However, after the first use, the recharge timer will be linked to whichever one you chose last. Most of the time, we think of the trophy system as a defensive precaution, blocking equipment and projectiles from being thrown at us. But one thing you might not realize is it can actually destroy existing equipment within its radius. For instance, if there's a guy camping in the corner in Piccadilly with a claymore, you can throw a trophy system down to detonate it to breach and clear. Like we've said at the beginning of the video, we've recently launched a new channel called Replay Mode. It's a comedy-based machinima channel, which fits because a lot of us are the guys who worked on the most recent seasons of Red vs. Blue. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll recognize some of the series that we're moving over to Replay Mode, like Famous Last Words and Accurate Tours, as well as new series like Mashup, Case Closed, and our own Inverted Stick podcast, and much, much more. We're trying to make an effort to turn this into something that we can focus on full-time, and we would greatly appreciate if you check it out. And guys, that will do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found some of these useful. If you did, be sure to leave a like, and maybe subscribe, and let us know in the comments if there are any other secret tips that you'd like to see us cover in the next video. Again, we truly appreciate you watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.